Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's video I'm going to do a mini haul slash review of some of the things that I bought during quarantine. I know I'm not the only one that's guilty of doing a bunch of shopping just sitting at home all day, but I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I got. So first I got the diagonal stripe binder clip bag from Off-White. And then I also got another thing from Off-White, which is the Diagonal Print Binder Clip Backpack. I know those are some really long names, so I hope I said it right. Anyways, um, I'm going to actually start with the uh, bag first. So this bag, I was just browsing online. Um, I saw many different sizes, but I went with this biggest size just because it's so practical. Uh, I know there's like these little baby bags and mini bags, but let's be real, you can't put anything in there. So I actually like to carry like my phone, my wallet, and any other important things. So I thought this was the perfect size, as you guys can tell. So I just want to show you guys the box that it came in. It came in in this mint green box, um, and it actually came with a really cool dust bag. I like this a lot because when you put your bag in it and it's in your closet, you can easily spot it. Unlike the other dust bags where you can't even see what's in it, and you actually have to open up and see the bag. So this is a really nice concept when it comes to dust bags. Uh, it does come with two straps as well, one short strap and one long strap. I'll actually show you guys what it looks like on the bag in just a little bit, uh, but just so you have an idea, it did come with these two straps. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with the short strap. I actually really like that you can wear this bag in different ways, even though it's kind of considered streetwear-ish luxury. I feel like with the shorter strap, you can make it really classy. Um, it is definitely more convenient wearing it like this, but it's really up to you on how you want to style it. How I like to wear it is with the long strap. I think this is more common. I've seen a lot of people wear them like this. It's super comfortable, really lightweight. You can wear it over your shoulder or you can wear it crossbody, whichever your preference is. I feel like the long strap has a little more casual look as opposed to the short strap where it looks classy. Um, and it might go with more outfits, but like I said, it's completely up to you on how you want to wear it. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a little more close-up views of the bag. Um, first off, the leather is not smooth. It's a textured leather. I believe it is Saffiano leather. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it, did, it is textured. It feels really nice, and it's all over. Um, as far as the hardware, it's really cute. You have the binder clip, which is kind of the main point, which is like in the name. And then you have these little like screws on the side, um, one right here and one right here as well. There's also extra hooks for your strap. Um, there's a lower one and there's a higher one. I personally just like the higher one because when you wear it low, it looks kind of funny because the things flip up like this. So I always wear it at the top. On the back, it does have a little off-white branding right here, if you can see that. And then I'll show you guys the inside of the bag. All right. So. Upon opening the bag, there is no button, which I love. Um, I know if you guys have seen other bags, there's like this little button, which gets kind of annoying because you kind of have to align it all the time. I do not have this issue with this bag. You just flap it, and there you go. And the binder clip is connected to a leather strap, which I also like as well, um, just because you don't ever want to lose this. Um, this actually like keeps it all intact. Now as far as the inside of the bag, it is black inside. There are two smaller compartments and one big compartment. Um, to be honest with you, I don't even put anything in the smaller compartments, but you can. Uh, if you don't want to carry your wallet, you can always put like your cards or any small objects in there. But as far as the big compartment, I honestly love it. You can put all your stuff in there, your phone, your wallet, whatever. Alright, so now I'm going to talk to you guys about the backpack. I actually love this backpack. I originally was going to get it in white, but I was like, you know what, I actually want a white bag and a black backpack, so I got it in black. Um, of course, it has the iconic yellow industrial strap right here, which I like. It's a nice pop of color. And then you just have regular leather straps up here. Um, you have your stripes up here, your binder clip, and then you have this other compartment. I like this little accent that's on the tag. It has a little Off-White Arrows logo. Um, it does open up and you can still put things in it. So when I did receive it, it came in a massive box. And when I say massive, that thing was huge. And I opened it and there was another massive box inside, uh, which was the backpack. So it did come with the dust bag. It wasn't the cool dust bag like how, like how the other bag came in, but it's okay. It'll do. Okay, so just going into more of the details of the bag. Um, the binder clip is different from the white one. This is kind of like a gunmetal grayish color, which I like. It actually matches with the bag a lot. Uh, all the hardware is actually the same color. 
Um, when I open it up, um, same deal here with the leather strap connected with the binder clip. And then one thing I have to mention is these strings were weird. Um, when you don't tighten it, the bag looks really boxy and it looks really awkward when you wear it. So I actually like it more tapered at the top, which is why I had to tie this knot right here. So if you're like me and you like that tapered look, you should tie the knot. Um, it did come with this little thing that kind of holds the strings together, but it doesn't really work for me to be honest with you. So that's that. Um, the inside is freaking huge. You can put anything in here. Um, I went on a bike ride last time and I put like two water bottles, my phone, and a bunch of other things. So this is very practical. If you like to like travel or like do something active, this is definitely the backpack for you. And it's super cute too, so definitely a statement piece. So I'm just going to show you guys how the backpack looks on my body. Um, as you can tell, it does look kind of boxy, but you just have to adjust the straps and it'll be a little more tapered. Uh, this is a really cute backpack to wear if you just want to be casual or if you just need to carry a lot of things. Like I said, it's like a good travel backpack, which is the reason why I got it in the first place because I guess as soon as we can travel again, I would like to take this on the plane with me. Alright guys, so that concludes my review for these two bags. Honestly, I really love them. Um, I actually carry this one everywhere and this one, like when I like do things that like require activity, I love carrying this as well because my hands are free. I have to mention, shout out to Farfetch because I got these for a super good deal. Um, I believe like the original price was like over a thousand dollars, but I actually got them for around six to seven hundred. Sales do fluctuate though, but I will still include a link down below for you guys so you guys can check them out yourself. Alright guys, well I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys like what I got. If you have any other questions or if you, even if you want to share what you bought during quarantine, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.